Jim has six times as much money as John. But if Jim earns six dollars and John earns eight dollars, Jim will have three times as much money as John will have then. How much do Jim and John have before and after earning six dollars and eight dollars, respectively? This is an algebraic problem. Uh, we're going to use variables to solve this problem. So let's carefully define the variables. So I have two people, Jim and John, and at this point in time, or initially, Jim makes six times as much as John. Jim has six times as much as John. So I'm going to assume John has X dollars. If that's the case, Jim should have 6x dollars. So we're going to put 6x right here. Okay? And this is before earning scenario. If John originally had x dollars, Jim should have originally had 6x dollars. Now, we do know that Jim earns 6 dollars and John earns 8 dollars. So we're going to add 8 to John's old amount and 6 to Jim's old amount. And that's what we're doing next. So after earning, John would have x plus eight dollars because that's eight, John makes eight additional dollars and Jim will have six x his original amount plus six dollars that he makes. Um, so this is my these are my variables and now I'm gonna write my equation right here which is a very critical step and let's erase everything and go over the equation. Now in this new scenario, after they earn the two amounts, Jim will have three times as much money as John will have then. This is a very critical step. You really want to read this line and make sure you understand it. If you don't understand it, you won't be able to solve problems like this. Jim will have three times as much money as John will have then. So we are saying, in this case, originally Jim Jim's amount was six times John's amount, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the new amount. And here, Jim is three times as much as John, only three times. So Jim's amount is three times John's amount. So whatever Jim has now is equal to three times that. And let's erase everything and write this down. So, setting up the equation. This is my equation. Jim's amount is, this means is, or is equal to, three times John's amount. That's exactly what this says, this line. Again, you want to pause the video here and really reflect. The question says, after they earn the money, two amounts, Jim will have three times of what John will have. That means this is equal to three times this. Three times this. That's what it means. So once we have the equation, the equation is not very complicated. Uh, we will just go ahead and solve it. Let's solve this equation. Um, this equation, 6x plus 6 is equal to 3x plus 8. Let's move on. Go to the next slide. Okay, this is my equation from my previous slide. So, what can I do next? I distributed 3 over x plus 8 and I get 3x plus 24. I moved my variables around, subtracted 3x from both sides. I have 6x minus 3x on the left hand side and subtracted 6 from both sides and I have 24 minus 6 on the right hand side and 6x minus 3x is 3x, 24 minus 6 is 18 I divide both sides by 3 and I get x turns out to be 6. That's the value of x. Now we're going to go back and answer the specific question that this question wants me to answer. They want us to find out how much money did the two guys have before and after they made the money. So we're going to go back to our original variables and see what we can do. So x is 6 from the previous slide and this is what we had from our original variables John originally had X dollars, Jim had 6X after earning John had X plus 8 and Jim had 6X plus 6 now all we need to do is replace X with 6 in each of the four scenarios so right here 
you get six dollars. So John had six dollars. Jim originally had thirty-six dollars. After John earned his eight dollars, he ended up having fourteen dollars. And after Jim earned his six dollars, he ended up having forty-two dollars. Now this is a very good time. It's an algebraic problem. It's, uh, these problems are very easy to check, and it's a very good time to check your solution. Are these numbers consistent with the question? I hope they are. Take a look at it. If Jim originally had six times as much money, well, Jim's original money is six times six. Okay? After they earned the amounts, of course, uh, John earned eight dollars, so six plus eight is fourteen, and Jim earned six dollars, thirty-six plus six is forty-two. And what happened after the they earned Jim's amount was three times John's amount. Well, Jim's amount is 42 and that is three times 14. So the answer or these four numbers do seem correct. They are consistent with the question.